The freehand tool is used to draw organic shapes and lines. When you need to draw a lot of curved shapes and lines, the freehand tool may be a better choice than the other line drawing tools. You can select the freehand tool from several locations. If you are using the main toolbar, select the drop down with the pencil icon, then select the freehand tool. If you have the large tool set enabled, you can easily find the freehand tool. Click on the icon next to the pencil with the squiggly line. To draw a line with the freehand tool, press and hold on the starting point. Drag the mouse in the direction that you want. Once you have your line, simply release the mouse. The steps to draw a shape with the freehand tool are similar to drawing a line. Press and hold on the starting point. Draw your shape. To finish, bring your mouse back to the starting point and release the mouse. The shape should fill in to indicate that you successfully closed the shape. If it does not fill in, that means there is a gap between the starting and the ending point. To draw on a surface, the same rules for drawing normally apply. First, create the shape. I will be using this rectangle as an example. Select the freehand tool and mouse over the surface you want. The cursor should have a blue diamond at the tip. If you stop moving your mouse, a message should appear saying, on face. This indicates that the line will start on the shape. Click and drag to draw your line or shape. You can even push or pull the shape that you drew. Something to be aware of is to make sure that you are drawing on the correct plane. Note that the axis guidelines will not help you. SketchUp is generally pretty good at guessing what axis you want to draw on, but sometimes it screws up. For example, it appears that I'm drawing on the vertical plane, but SketchUp thinks that I'm actually drawing on the horizontal plane. To prevent that problem, switch to the view that you want. For example, if I want to draw on the vertical plane, I would switch to a front, back, left, or right view. This would result in me drawing on the correct plane. Likewise, if I wanted to draw on a horizontal plane, I would switch to a top or bottom view. So that's it. You now should know what the freehand tool is, how to find it, how to draw with it, and how to avoid common problems with it. Thanks for watching.